Hey everybody, it's Kyle here. Welcome back to another video. I'm back on my phone because I have enough room to make videos. But uh, today's video I just wanted to talk about something I wasn't quite expecting yet to happen. And that is the end of physical therapy. I know you've kind of heard me complain and worry about, you know, if insurance was going to pay for physical therapy, but that's actually not what is stopping therapy at all. It's actually that they feel that I'm where they can get me as of right now. And I say as of right now because physical therapy is probably always going to be a part of my life in some way, shape, or form. Could be 20 years from now that I'll go back. Could be five years, six months. But at some point in life, it's likely that I will go back to physical therapy. But... Over the last four and a half months, you know, I've seen a lot of improvement. I feel much more stable. My core is a lot stronger. My knee pain that I originally went in for isn't an issue anymore. Like, I just feel good. I feel stronger. But I'm standing up straighter. Like, I, I'm in a good place. And my therapist agrees and has decided that Next week is my final session for this period of time. Like, he just, he didn't spring it on me because I asked. Um, next week was my last scheduled visit up to that point. And I said, you know, I have next week's appointment. And he said, yep, it's with me. Because um, today we said goodbye to Rebecca. Um, it was really great to have... Um, a physical therapy student these last 12 weeks because she was fresh out of um, the class that deals with uh, CP and she really pushed me to try new things and you know it was really fresh in her mind and she really understands that cerebral palsy is a lifelong disability it's not something that you know, goes away after you turn 18. And I feel like a lot of people associate cerebral palsy with children, but those children grow up to be adults. Um, and she was really good at understanding that and that my what my needs were and challenging me and pushing me. Um, so my final week of therapy will be solely with um, Greg. And I asked, you know, hey, are we going to extend. And he said, no, Kyle, you know, I think that you've gotten to a really good place. I think we've gotten you as strong and stable as we can get you as of right now. Uh, and, and that's the thing I want to make clear too, for anyone watching who's in physical therapy, don't necessarily expect that it's going to fix every problem. Yes, my knee still turns in slightly. I mean, it's gotten better because of physical therapy, but there are things that quite aren't going to get 100%, and they've always made that clear. And if your physical therapist has not made that clear to you, I want to say this, that don't expect that you're going to enter therapy you know, say at a 50 and leave at a 100, they may be only able to get you to an 80, a 95, a 99, but don't expect that all your problems will go away because of physical therapy. There are some things that they can improve upon that they can't fix. So I just want to take that time to say, you know, manage your expectations um, with how far you're going to get. I really did not think that I would hit this point as quickly as I did. You know, I guess when I went into physical therapy in October, I assumed I was in bad shape, and yes, I was, but I really did not think that I would respond as well as I did to physical therapy. I knew it would work, don't get me wrong. I'm someone who was in physical therapy for almost a solid 18 years straight. I knew it would work, but I thought because I was 26 as opposed to 18, 17 really, 
that my body would take longer to respond. And so I was actually rather shocked that he said I had hit the point of, um, you know, I hit the point of like, there's not much more we can do for you right now. And it's like, oh, really? I mean, over the last four and a half months, almost five months, we would, you know, set up a few weeks of therapy and then I'd be like, we're running low. And he'd be like, we're just going to add some more. And then I knew when I said today, I have one more session left. And his response was, yes, it's with me. And that's not his normal response. His normal response would have been, yeah, we're going to add some more. And that's what I was, I guess, prepared for because that's just what's been happening. And I knew something was up. So when I said, so am I going to add some more? And he told me that he said I was in a good place. I didn't know exactly how to feel. Like part of me, even now, a couple hours later, feels really good about the fact that they've gotten me to this point where they professionally believe that I'm strong and stable and I can tell that I am. Like, that means it worked. Like, that means physical therapy did its job. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, are you sure? Like, I trust your professional opinion, but I guess just there's that doubt of not to them, but like, like, are you sure? Like, I'm, I'm as good as you think I am. Um, and that's just me believing in myself more than like, they've gotten to me. They've gotten me where I need to be at this point in life. I need to believe that now I'm capable of sustaining it because my work really doesn't stop here. Yeah, yes, I have one more week, but it really doesn't stop once physical therapy stops. It's now up to me to continue maintenance, stretching, all the exercises they've shown me, adding new stuff and really working at it. So like I said, cerebral palsy is lifelong and it's not going to go away. <laughs> so the work never really stops. I always like to say CP never quits, so neither can I. And I guess what the reason I say, are you sure, is because I guess I'm just nervous to have the baton handed back to me. Um, but I will say I'm in a much better place at 26 to handle this responsibility more than I was at 17 leaving high school. You know, I, I know the bigger picture of things before I was looking straight ahead, kind of at the ground, figuratively and literally, because my head was always down. Um, so I wasn't thinking big picture. Now I can see big picture and the goals that I have um, in life and, you know, how I'm going to get there. And now I understand that exercise has to be a lifestyle for me. It can't just be, you know, I start and stop, start and stop. And I'll take breaks, I'm sure. Like, but I have to be consistent and keep pushing because otherwise I will slide back. Yes, it took years to get into, you know, the bad position that I was in. And it would take years to do it again, I'm sure. But that will never happen because I will never take, I will never, I will never let myself take that long of a break. That really wasn't a break. That was me just not caring about myself, um, honestly. So, yeah, I just, I was not anticipating this being the end, but... You know, I'm so grateful that therapy has, you know, given me this new lease on life and it's made me stronger both physically and mentally and just given me so much. Um, and I kind of want to talk about what I've learned 
in physical therapy uh, next week after my last uh, physical therapy session, kind of get my, how I'm feeling after it's officially over. Um, and, you know, what I've learned, because it's really taught me a lot about myself. Um, so we'll save that. I feel like I'll be a little bit more emotional about it the next time you see me. Um, this is just like the precursor to like, the end is near. Um, and it's like a super thrilling, scary, f like happy, sad feeling all at once. Um, but, you know, all good things must come to an end for another even better thing to start. And I think that's what's going to happen. But if you're excited to see those bigger and better things happen, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share this with a friend if you thought um, you liked it. If people think you know someone who could benefit from it, um, share it with them. And comment down below your physical therapy stories. Uh, and let's talk. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.